that he received him today, he gave up. Anywhere you think you have failed in your life, that is where God will bless you. That is where God will surprise you. That is where God will elevate you. My highest desire for this church is that nobody here will go to hell. What a mighty God we serve. This God is too much. And it's so big that the whole world cannot contain him. Because he's the creator of the whole universe. Do you have any problem? Come around. You will know that he can solve any problem. And I want you to know that Jesus loves you. And will love you too. I am Dr. Messi Ezekiel. I welcome you to the hour of grace. And I want you to know that you are blessed because you are somebody. We love you. From known to unknown, I don't know where you are now. You know the place you are. Take up from that place to unknown. You are moving from known to unknown. And to every one of you here. This is your day. Mark 6 from verse 42 to the end is a marathon reading. Let me your ears. George, read. And they did all eat and were filled. And they took up twelve baskets full of the fragments and of the fishes. And they that did eat of the loaves were about 5,000 men. And straightway he constrained his disciples to get into the ship and to go to the other side before unto Bethsaida, while he sent away the multitude. And when he had sent them away, he departed into a mountain to pray. And when evening was come, the ship was in the midst of the sea, he alone on the land. And he saw them toiling and rolling, for the wind was contrary unto them. And about the fourth watch of the night he cometh unto them, walking upon the sea, and would have passed by them. But when they saw him walking upon the sea, they supposed it has been a spirit, and cried out. And they all saw him, and were troubled. And immediately he talked with them, and said unto them, Be of good cheer it is I be not afraid and he went up unto them in the into the ship and the wind ceased and there was so up they were so amazed in themselves beyond measure and wonder for they considered not the miracles of the loaf for their heart was Adam and when they had passed over they came into the land of Gennesaret and drew to the shore. And when they were come on, out, out of the ship, straightway they knew him. And they ran through the, that whole region round about and began to carry about in beds those that were sick where they heard that he was. And whithersoever he entered into village or city or country, they lay the sick in the streets and besought him that they might touch if it were about the border of his garment. And as many as touch, we are made whole. From known to unknown, you can be seated. Amazing the grace of God. inexhaustible goodness of God over his people. I will only censor it into four parts. I will tell you four things about this. No. Look at one. Look at verse 42. And they did all it. They did all it. You know the story. 
how Jesus fed 5,000. They did how many eat? Are you sure? Is it in your Bible? How many again ate? All. Oh, you are here, eh? If it is all, you are inclusive. I say you are inclusive. You are not moving out here without the same your own. You will eat bread and fish. Last Sunday, I say it is a business. The business of bread is generational blessing. And the business of fish is durable. Because when God destroyed the first world, no fish was destroyed. So your, 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 your blessing is durable. Nobody can destroy that provided you eat the fish. 42. Read. And they did all eat mm -hmm. and we are filled. Mm -hmm. 43. Mm -hmm. And they took up twelve baskets full of the fragments mm -hmm. and of the fish. Mm -hmm. And they that they eat of the loaves were about five thousand men. Mm -hmm. 44. And straightway he constrained his disciples. It's okay. How many people ate? Say it again. Anything you see in the Bible has a reason. Jesus started this ministry, this Decapolis visit. We are still in the journey of Decapolis. This time he came to a place. This is what he saw. Some hungry people. Some people who has no hope. He told the disciples, give them to eat. The disciples said, how can that be? Where, where are we going to get food? According to John, in Synoptic Gospel, the Bible said, Jesus knew what he would do. Can I tell you this morning that you are troubled? Jesus knows what to do with it. Chill. Be in peace. Jesus knows what he will do. Don't bother yourself how it will be done. One thing that surprised me here is this. He started this episode with feeding by feeding them, giving them bread, giving them fish. After eating, that was the beginning of the last journey. See verse 56 of the same chapter. And whithersoever he entered uh -huh. into villages uh -huh. or cities uh -huh. or country, uh -huh. they lay the sick in the streets uh -huh. and besought him that they might touch him, mm -hmm. if it were but the border of his cup. Uh -huh. And as many as touched him, as many that touched him, we are made whole. We are made whole. Do you see the thing now? Do you discover something? You know, see him. Listen. Jesus began by feeding them. By giving them food. No healing. Just food. Just food. But at the end of the day, he gave them miracle. He gave them healing. He started with bread and, and ended with deliverance. This is my Jesus. But on the journey, it's not easy. When they finished eating, 
The first thing you will notice is this. Read verse 45. And straightway. And straightway. Now, wait, wait. I like the gospel of Mark. Immediately. Straightway. Perfect servant. No waste time. Immediately. What happened immediately? He constrained his disciples. Underline constrained. Is somebody hearing me? He constrained. That means disciple never want to enter. He gave me a command. I charge you to enter this boat. Watch my lips. I'm not telling you to believe me. But I constrain you. I charge you. You must receive this blessing. It will not be in, it will not be in vain. Jesus constrained them to enter the boat. They don't know what next. Constrain them to go to unknown place. Why constraining them? Because God was constrained. God was constrained. In the book of Romans, the Bible said, Your love constrained you, God. The love of God constrained him to save us. If not the love of God, all of us will be in hell. But the love of God, let me use language, don't misunderstand. Love of God by that time was stronger. Constraining God to do it. And he picked up my salvation and gave it to me. He stretched forth his hand to save you from hell. He was constrained by love. Love constrained him. While we are yet sinners, Jesus died. He died for the ungodly. The Bible says he became sin. Jesus became sin. That I might become righteous. The Bible says I was the righteousness of God in Christ. He became sin that I might be righteous. It's not ordinary. It is constraining of love. Jesus constrained the disciples to enter, enter into boat. They don't understand. Whether they like it or not, they were given the grace that constrained them. They enter into that boat. They don't know where they are going though. Even though they are going the other side, but they don't know what is on the road. I want to assure you, as far as Jesus said, enter the boat. Don't worry on what we see on the way. As they enter the boat, he constrained them to enter the boat. On the way, something happened. They don't know where they are going. And that is the Bible language. Abraham was told by God, go into the country I will show you. Don't bother to ask me where I will take you there. From known to unknown. Abraham was on the track going, not knowing where he was going. He was obeying and going. Can I appeal to you, please, sister? Don't ask God this question. You don't need to ask him his omnipotent, omniscient. He knows what is the best for you. His thought over you is the thought of peace. Not of evil. You must have an expected end. He can't think evil for you. 
The only person that can think evil is Satan and human beings, but not my God. From day one, one thing with God is this. God sees your end from the beginning. Do you believe that? When you were in your mother's womb, when you were not a mother, just see it. I went to hospital. I said, I want to understand certain things. I said to the lab scientist, give me the, whatever you are using to see what is happening. And I was looking at those tiny things. I don't know whether they are warm. They were swimming and swimming and swimming. I said, what is all this? He said, these are thousands and millions of sperm that's swimming. I said, can all these things enter into the womb of a woman? He said, no. I said, if they enter into the womb of a woman, story will change. They were swimming and swimming. He said, do you see all these things swimming? Only one will survive. Or two. I said, this God is a wonderful God. You realize that from your mother's womb. And God was piloting your journey. All the other, other, other seed we are struggling with you to get into to fertilize the egg. They were struggling. You push them out. You push them, push them. And finally you entered. All the ones were flushed out. And you begin to develop head. Develop hand. God is God at any time. Give him praise. My argument is this. Will that God who started your life from your mother's womb, will he now lead you, abandon you? Impor. Impor. Relax. He's taking you from known to unknown. The day you were born, you were blind. You don't see anything. You stay there for about a week or two before you open your eyes. And the day you came into this world, the only thing you did is to cry. I never see anything ugly like a newborn babe. They're so ugly. I, 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 I don't, I, you, you may not even have the courage to carry them. So ugly. And the nurse will begin to clean up, clean up, clean up. Now you are making shakara. You. Some of you gave testimony. How you do this, how you do that. You don't know that where you started. You are moving from no to. That God has not finished with you. You are crying, crying for money for nothing because of lack of understanding. If you know that God is that God who, who sustains you from your mother's womb, you'll be dancing. You will burst out in laughter. You will say, God, carry on. Lead me. You are my shepherd. I shall not want. Well, they entered the boat, not knowing exactly what will happen on their way. That is how, in, in Matthew chapter 9, verse 2, God, you read it for us. And before they brought him a man sick of the palsy, a man paralyzed, sick of palsy, lying on the bed. Lying on the bed. And Jesus, seeing their faith, said unto the sick of the palsy. And Jesus, seeing their faith, said to the man lying on the bed, Son, Son, be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. Thy sins be forgiven thee. Thy sins be forgiven thee. Listen to me. One word I would like you to remember on this journey. One word. Don't forget it. Underline it. Copy it. Put it on your fridge. 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 Distance. Put it at the sticker. Put it on your 
whisk cream. Be of good cheer. It's a heavy word. It's a word of life. Encouragement. Can I tell you again? Sister, come up. Be of good as you are joining to unknown place. This man that was paralyzed, he knew where he was, but four of, of, of his friends said unto him, let's go. He has no idea. He, they may tell him about Jesus, but he has no he has not seen Jesus before. He don't know how he look. So let's go. If we carry you there, we drop you and go away. It's unknown. Anything that happened to you, we don't we will not know. He will be the one who knows. Let's go. They carried him. You know the story. Coming to the temple, no chance at all to enter. They look up. No road. One of the obstacles of life is human being. They will so block you that your faith will be shrinking. You cry, cry, they say, oh, be courageous. They won't help you. And they say, we can't, we can't take this. Let us find another way. But that destination we must reach. They look up. They, that, that, that. they listen to the voice of Jesus because he's a teacher and preacher. You see, his, his voice is coming from this place. They, they know the place and they open the roof. Take away the roof! They took away the roof. The roof. The whole church was still. When they had zinc opening and they, they were lowering the man down. The church stood still. What is happening? I don't care how many demons will, will stand still now. Because something must happen to you. Yeah. Taking you to unknown. But only known by him. They send the man down. Drop him. Oh. Bye. Anything you see, take. The man said, it's okay, drop me here, let me die. But as far as, far as I'm here, it is done deal. Jesus saw their face. And he said unto the man of palsy, Son! Uh, do you understand the language? Son! Who is son? Misguided son, misguided daughter. From the foundation of the world, God ordained you to be a Christian, to be redeemed. But the enemy misguided you. They drop him. Jesus looked beyond. what was on the ground and he said unto him son your sins be forgiven thee he did not even touch the sickness but see he tackled the foundation your sin be forgiven thee look at me the beginning of this journey you are here this morning, many of you you are beginning from where you know you were born a sinner in sin did your mother conceive you your heart is telling you that you are a sinner your mama is telling you that you are a sinner 
Your father is telling you that you are a sinner. Your brother is telling you that you are a sinner. You know yourself, look inside, that you have committed sin. You are, you are starting your journey from there. From known. And you are going to unknown. Jesus, see him, said unto him, Son, that's a change of identity. You have seen be forgiven thee. And some people murmured, Who is this that can forgive sin? Only God can forgive sin. My brother, my sister, I'm telling you, all of you here, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, your sins are forgiven thee. By the preaching of the word, the power of God is moving. And your sins are blotted out. And the moment, who is this man that, that say your sins are forgiven? Only God can forgive sin. And Jesus said, why, why murmuring? By this you will know that the Son of Man has power on earth. <laughs> has power where? On earth. Not in heaven. Because there is no forgiveness of sin in heaven. If you are praying that some people will move from purgatory to kingdom of God, you are deceiving yourself. I make it clear there is nothing like purgatory. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, has power here on earth to forgive sin. No other place. If you are not forgiven here, you are lost. You are finished. Be of good cheer. Your sins are forgiven. And the man took up his bed and was made whole. If you are looking at me, if you are hearing my voice, if you are any anyhow you can identify with this world, you can go home the same. Your sins are forgiven thee. You are coming out from the camp of the enemy to camp of God. You have started moving from known to unknown. Your sins be forgiven me. That's the first experience you are going to meet while you are going to the other side. Where you are moving from known to unknown. People will mock you. People will talk so many things against you. People will call you so many names. Leave them. As much as your sins are forgiven. You are in a sure hand. The next episode can be seen in, 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 in Mark chapter 6, 45. Read 45. Way, and straightway he constrained his disciples. He constrained his disciples. All of, all of you here. Jesus is constraining you. Uh -huh. To get into the ship. Get into the ship. Don't stay outside. Get into the ship. Get into the pool of blood. Get into the ark of God. Get in, get in, get in. Get into the ship. Get into the ship of salvation. Uh -huh. And to go to the other side before unto Bethsaida. Go to the other side. To Bethsaida. While he sent away the multitude. While he sent away the multitude. I think you are not, you are not being sent away. When he has sent them away, when he has sent them away, he departed into a mountain to pray. He departed into the mountain to pray. Go ahead. 
And when evening was come, when evening was come, the ship was in the midst of the sea. The ship was where? In the midst. Have you ever been in the midst of the trouble? You look right, left. You are at the center of that trouble. Like the testimony this morning. The husband, the wife, the children, all of them in trouble. People may talk nonsense. People may say, look yourself very well. I hope no sin in you. No word of encouragement but condemnation. I hope nothing is wrong. Can we do family deliverance for you? What is all these things? You are not God. Huh? On the land. He alone. Everyone say alone. On the land. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And he saw them toiling and rolling. He saw them doing what? Uh, if you have dictionary, open it here. Yeah. Toiling. Toiling. Walking like elephants and eating like rats. That's how I can describe it. Sweating without result. They were. <laughs> can you see? Heavy men toiling. And they were fishermen. What funny thing is that? Read more. Read. Read. Toiling in rolling. Toiling. Uh -huh. For the wind was contrary unto them. For the wind is what? Uh, look at me here. Is weather contrary to you? Oh, this time I don't know what is happening in Nigeria. Niger. Anything I put my hand is closed. Contrary. Is that your experience? Welcome. Something will happen to you today. You are in the midst of the sea. No way out. Things, all of them, contrary to your expectation. You don't know where to go. Contrary. If you open shop, they close it. Put hand there, no way. Travel, you get accident. Put crawfish to sell. Rat, you eat it up. Nothing works. Try this, try that, no way. If you reach such a stage, if you reach such a stage, raise up your hand and rejoice. It's a sign of victory for you. I'm telling you, you are, you are hoping we change today. The power will change hand. You, 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 you go to interview this way, that way, that way, they turn you around. No hope. Stay put. One thing is that Jesus went up to the mountain. Jesus right now is on the throne room looking at you from there. He was looking at them from the throne. He was seeing their, 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 their condition. Everything contrary. You are not the first person. It's going to be alright. I say it's going to be alright. What is happening to me? Oh God! If it is my sin, forgive. No, your sins are forgiven already. It's not. The only thing is this. You are going to unknown place. <laughs> you are moving from known to unknown. You don't know. You don't know the road. You don't know it all. You don't know it all. Trust and obey. There is no other way to be happy. 
trust and obey from known to unknown. Jesus was on the throne on high mountain looking at them. They were toiling. Yeah. Uh, what is this? They, they go back now. They can go back. They are at the center of the sea. Go front now. The wind blowing is sending them back. What are we going to do? Do you know the worst? The worst thing, read. On the journey to the other side. Read. Contrary unto them. The wind was contrary. Government was contrary. Neighbor, contrary. Everything, contrary. Your business, contrary. Ah, what is going on here? It was not, it was not like this when I was unbeliever. What is going on here? Uh -uh. I pray, 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 fast, 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 no way. It, you are going from known to unknown. That is how it will be. <laughs> Cheer. Take it easy. Uh -huh. And about the fourth watch of the night. About what? The fourth watch. Oh, church, are you alive? About what time? It's not ordinary. Four is a number of command, control. It's put there that you may know that whether, whether you are in control. The person who sent you is upstairs looking at you while you are piling. It's in control. It's monitoring you. <laughs> far from the mountain he will see you far. Eagle, eagle eyes. Do you know that every moment of your life is recorded in the kingdom? Every step you are taking is, is being marked down. Nothing will happen to you without the approval of God. Anything that will come to you must pass through the hand of God. God will look at it. Okay. It's okay. He will overcome it. Try. Right. You are in a good hand. And you are coming out smoking. You will coming out, you are coming out smiling. It may be hard today, we'll check tomorrow. You will see that you are smiling. If I tell people the journey of my life, they don't they won't believe it. You will think that I see my father. This man you are seeing here. If I tell them, you know, they will come and say, Ezekiel, I want to, I want God to bless me like he bless you. Yeah. Can you pass through the trials? If I tell you my trials of life, you say, oh, you be, if you be like that, hold on. Ezekiel standing before you. No money to cook soup. Me. I go gather the leaves of hibiscus, that flower. I gather them, slice them, put them for. I was a bachelor. Have you used that kind of thing to cook soup? Meat? No. Not for me. If I manage a Pueco, that will be Christmas. <laughs> my, my dress, boss corner. Boss corner. If I wear it, obey the wind. If the wind blows, you will, see, you will know that Ezekiel is there. Every of my dress is shaking. When I remember that God who leads me up to this moment will never forsake me. I am moving from known to unknown. 
you will make it. I'm not trying to deceive you. I say you will make it. If God be with me and I'm making it, you will make it. God is no respecter of anybody. I say, I say, I say, you will make it. I guarantee you with my ten fingers, you are going to make it. Come rain, come sun. Let the devil go to hell. You are making it. <laughs> one person in my town one of the pers- people one of the people that are opposing him finally died they told him that man who is opposing you don't die here and they told him he's in hell not he's in hell he said hell the man said, whether it's in hell or in heaven, or you know, good better for him. <laughs> Do you understand? Whether the man that's opposing me is in hell or in heaven, you know, good better for anywhere he is. If he's in heaven, you no know, good better for him. If he's in hell, you know, go better for him. I say to you, you know, go better for your enemy. You make it. I say you will make it. Those people who were laughing at you, it will turn around and you will laugh at them. But understand, you are moving from known to on. Against disciples, they were robbing shoulder to shoulder with death. Some people think that Christianity is butter and milk. It is, but Jesus said you will suffer tribulation. He said to Saul, who later be Paul, he said, "I will show you." Things you will suffer. It's one of the blessings of Christianity. Suffering. Don't fear suffering. Don't fear it will be okay. After darkness comes a glorious down. Disciples we are amazed. What is all this? Why is it that Jesus abandoned us, leave us in the middle of the sea, and went back to the mountain? Are you sure you love us? Don't doubt the love of God. Don't doubt. Doubt your own doubt, not God's love. Are you a pregnant woman here? Are you pregnant? Never you fear one day that you will die. You will deliver severely. I decree it from this pulpit. You will deliver like Hebrew women. Before you know it, it's out. Mark it. Nothing will be an obstacle. Nothing. You are so precious in the sight of God. You are so dear to God that God is looking at you day and night. Can a woman forget her suffering child? 
the car, she car. But God said, I will never forget you. They were rubbing shoulder to shoulder with Mr. Dead. Uh -uh. Are we going to perish here? Is that my last trip? How can that be? Jesus is not here. One funny thing is that he constrained me. <laughs> he conscripted me. Conscription is not only in the army. Jesus can conscript. But he, he didn't call it conscript. He said constrain. Constrain you to do it. Some of us here, pastors, if you ask them, with this work we are doing, uh, yeah. I don't know. He said, I never, I never wanted it before. But I was constrained. Lupus. And I find myself in the ministry. That is God whom I serve. The grace will constrain you to do it. As they were complaining, read more, George. When he had sent them away, uh -huh. he departed into a mountain to pray. Mm -hmm. And when evening was come, the ship was in the midst of the sea, and he alone on the land. He alone on the land. And he saw them toiling and rolling. He saw them toiling and rolling. Go ahead. Toiling and rolling, for the wind was contrary unto them. The wind, the weather, everything was contrary. Eh? And about the fourth watch of the night. About the fourth watch, thank God for fourth watch, number of control. You are still in control. He cometh unto them. He cometh unto them. Walking upon the, upon the sea. Walking up, wait, wait. Walking where? Walking where? What are, what they, what are they afraid of? See. And Jesus was walking on their fear. My disciple, is it not this sea that is troubling you? I walk upon it. I tread upon serpents and scorpions. And over all the powers of the enemy, nothing shall by no means hurt you. Marching upon your enemies. Those things that are troubling you, Jesus is trampling upon them. <laughs> I remember in one of our crusades and in the night they left me alone to go to where they were sleeping and I was alone in my room and in the night come, 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 come from the window I opened the window. Here comes one hood black thing. One hood black thing coming to me. I said, Who are you? I was very bold. Who are you? Do you know what he said? He said, I am Mr. Dead. Mr. Dead coming to do what here? I say, I overcome you by the spirit of life. Immediately he dissolved. Are you a child of God? You are an overcomer. I say, you overcomer. Say, I overcome by the spirit of life. Christ in you, the hope of glory. The spirit of resurrection is resting upon you. They were so afraid. Disciples. And they shouted. This is nothing but a ghost. Normally they are right to. Because history made us to know that once in a while, some unknown ghost we were walking on that sea. Spirit beings walking on the street, on the sea. Being fishermen with experience, they saw it. They said, Hey! This ghost again. This ghost. 
This ghost, this ghost, this ghost is the, the, maybe they were trying to, help, help to dive into the water. But Jesus was walking on their trouble, trampling on their trouble that troubled them. Be quiet! They are my children. <laughs> and immediately when Jesus saw them like that, what did he say? Please. When they saw him walking upon the sea, they uh -huh. suppose it was it has been a spirit. They suppose, suppose that it has been a spirit. And cried out. And cried out. Huh? Go ahead. But they all saw him. Uh -huh. And we are troubled. They were troubled. And immediately he talked with them. Everyone say immediately. Yeah. Say immediately. Yeah. I love the way Mark used to state his statement. Immediately. My brother. Uh, is there any brother in this church? My sister. Immediately. Immediately. Say immediately. It will not be tomorrow. It will not be in the evening. When? When? If you say now, immediately. That will say immediately. When? <laughs> immediately, what happened? Immediately, he talked with them. He talked with them. And said unto them. And said unto them. Be of good cheer. Be quiet. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Don't wound yourself. Chill. Uh -huh. It is up. It is what? Uh. Thank God he didn't say I am your mother. I am your husband. I am your big brother. I am your pastor. He said it is. Do you know I? Moses, go and tell them. I am. Revelation, come now, revelation, that we may know what the Bible is saying. It is I. From the beginning, it is I. In your situation, it is I. In the midst of trouble, it is I. In danger, it is I. In your kitchen, it is I. In nightmare, it is I. When you are traveling, it is I. In the land, in the air, it is I. Everyone say it is I. Anywhere. Cool. It is I. Breathe. It is I. Be not afraid. Don't be afraid. Comfort. Comfort. Teresa. Emmanuel. John. Be not afraid. Don't be afraid. It is your Savior. He is your Savior. Who has been from the beginning, but no beginning. He is the one who spread the heaven like cotton. Hang the whole world up on nothing. It is I. He is the one. He has the whole world in his hand. He is the one who says, It is I. Go and study I in the Bible. Uh -huh. And he went up unto them into the ship. Now he did not leave. He, he, he went up into the into unto them into the ship. And the wind see. And the wind. I command that wind that is troubling you to cease. Because Jesus went up. Jesus went up unto them. Jesus has come up unto you, and that wind has ceased. The wind do what cease. 
Everyone say the wind troubling me has ceased to the glory of God. What next? And they were so amazed in themselves. They were so what? Beyond measure. Beyond <laughs> and wondered. They wondered. Beyond measure, they wondered. Somebody who trample upon your enemy come up to be with you. Eh? What next? Oh God, help our little friends. Somebody is going home here and reading with Your strength is rejuvenated. You are no more the same way. You are no more the same person that came here this morning. I say you are going home not the same way. You are no more the same brother that came into this church. You are no more the same sister that came into the church. Everything has changed. Jesus has come up to be with you. From known to unknown. On the way, you may have many things. But be of good cheer. One word he said to the man, be of good cheer. Your sins are forgiven thee. He said to the disciples, it is I. Be of good cheer. He came up to them. Ah, my Lord Jesus. Finally, I will end with this. You get ready. John 16 chapter 3. Read. These things have I spoken unto you. You see, these things now you are hearing. Huh? Oh, oh no. These things you are hearing now. It is not Ezekiel speaking. It is the word of God. These things have I spoken unto you. Huh? That in me. In me. He might have peace. That you will have peace. In the world. In the world. You shall have tribulation. You shall have tribulation in the world. Be of good cheer. Be of good. I have overcome it's the done, world. It's a done deal. Overcome us. Overcome us. Many of you are going home with a big letter on your forehead. Overcome us. Overcome us. Who is overcomer? That, 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 that sister, that, that brother. Let the weak say, I am overcomer. Don't go down again. Don't go down. I am strong. I'm overcomer. Be of good. I have. It's not tentatively. It's a big, it's a done deal. I have overcome the world. And if you have overcome the world, what remains? Peace. Read again, George. That can Have I spoken unto you? These things, these things, this morning, have I spoken unto you? That in me, that in me, Jesus said in him, you uh -huh. might have peace. You might have I said, take your peace before you go. All this bra 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 you are hearing will be in vain if you don't if you don't take peace. I said, take peace. Somebody's name is peace. Who is that? He is the prince of peace, the son of the living God, the lion of the tribe of Judah. He is God of Daniel in Lion's Den. He is God of Elijah and Elisha. He is God who spread the heaven like cotton. He is your God. He is your peace. In the storms of life, he will say, peace, be still. Peace, peace. My peace, I leave unto you. He will never withdraw it. Devil has no, devil cannot tamper with it. Why? Why? Because it's a food of the spirit. It is what your spirit is eating. So the fruit, the fruit of the spirit is this. Love, joy, peace, 
It is what your spirit is eating. Devil cannot tamper with that food. I say, devil cannot tamper with that food. That food is garrison, the blood of Jesus Christ. First, no enemy can touch it. Come what may. The world cannot give you this kind of peace. Do you know why it is peace indeed? Because there are trouble. He said, in the world, you will have what? Take it. In all these things, inside of you, child of God, there is peace. And you will not die. He that is in you is greater than he that is in the world. You are going to receive something now. We are going to pray for you. The only trouble is this. Be of good cheer. Your sins are forgiven thee. If your sins are not forgiven thee, there is no peace for the wicked. Shall we pray? You are welcome back. I know you enjoy the word of God which is life and I know your life will never ever remain the same after you must have had the word of God please make best use of the word don't let your life be the same again because Jesus Christ is coming soon why don't you give your life to Jesus Christ today might be the only day you have I call you to give your life to Jesus and if you are sick you are healed we'll see you next week bye International Headquarters, Tenant Drop Latif Salami Street at the OS State, along Mutala Mohammed Airport Road, Lagos. Please outrage, reaching out to the troubled souls. Don't miss it. CPR, Jesus Christ is Lord. God has a plan for you, a plan to give you a bright future. Come and experience expository teachings and a powerful prophetic breakthrough service this Sunday at Christian Pentecostal Mission International with God's anointed servants. Reverend Dr. O. Isaka, the General Overseer. Reverend Dr. Mercy Isaka, co pastor, national and international coordinator, and other anointed servants of God. Worship with us this Sunday at 8.30 a.m. At Christian Pentecostal Mission International Headquarters, 10 and 12 Latif Salami Street at Jawa Estate, along Mutala Mohammed Airport Road, Lagos. You can also worship with any CPM International branch close to you. It will be a time of salvation, healing, deliverance in the presence of God. CPM, Jesus Christ is Lord.